So you can go to the moon, we sent the supplies up front, take the water out of the crater basins, drink some of it, make rocket fuel out of the rest, now you have rocket fuel to come back to the Earth. In NASA, they call this ISRU, in situ resource utilization. There are no permanent settlements anywhere in the solar system unless you have some kind of ISRU. Later on, you bring up a digital printer. You just dump some lunar lunar regolith into it, like the lunar soils, and maybe it'll melt it and fuse it and turn it into pottery or whatever. <laughs> whatever you need, perhaps a future 3D printer will get that for you on the moon. But when the US attempts to fast track the next generation of space nuclear technology at the risk of billions in taxpayers' dollars and safety of our astronauts, Perhaps the question isn't, can we do it, but why are we doing it? While NASA sees this as a necessary step, critics warn the timeline may be dangerously rushed and politically motivated. That gap in knowledge is how political agendas steer the course of science without most people realizing it. Shaping what gets funded, cut and why until we're not sure if we're driving toward breakthroughs or dismantling the very science that's fighting climate change, developing new medicine and protecting humanity.